Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to work on another problem from HackerRank and today we are going to create another video on data structure section. So today we are going to work on Java 2D array. Previously we worked on 1D array. So this problem has been declared as easy. So let's see what it has. But before we do that, if you are new to my channel, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, let please do and let's jump back to the video. So what we have to do here is we have been given a 6x6 six six 2D array and we have to find uh, hourglass in an array. So hourglass, if you don't know, it's a figure, <laughs> uh, but actually it's it's kind of a tool, uh, you, uh, not a tool, yeah, tool you can say. It's a tool to identify the time and previously we have been uh, seeing movies. If you have seen movies, old movies, you might have seen an hourglass like compo component and which is used to calculate the time. So it's like uh, it, it is equal from the ends, like from the top and the bottom it's equal and it's really slim at uh, the middle, right? So uh, let's say we have an array like this. What we have to do is we have to find as many hourglass as possible and when we have that we have to just find out the uh, hourglass which has the maximum sum so here we have been given the array and we just we don't have we just have to provide the maximum sum that's it so first what we have to do is we have to find the hourglass combinations like there could be many right it depends on the array so first we have to find that out and then we have to get the sum and check if it is the maximum or not so first what we should do is we should try to find out the number or you can say all the hourglass combinations so first we will do that so here you can see the code uh, so here what we have so uh, here we have list of list other than array and what we are going to do is we are parsing that input splitting it through spaces and getting it into a list so this is our list okay so add uh, row items so now we have list of integer okay okay so first let's try to print this right so let's see what we have in the list okay so add is a list of list so let's try to print this okay so as you can see we are getting uh, the list of list as a row of an array so that is what we have so first let's try to fill this uh, so what we will do is so actually we don't have to fill it we can just create two loops and let's try that way so what I'm going to do is I know that it is a 6 by 6 array so I will start from 0th index and I will read the data till 6 and the amazing part is that I'm not going to read this or this or this what I'm going to do is let's say if this is my first hourglass uh, not this till here this triple one one and this triple one this is my first hourglass so I'll start from this index and then I'll do, uh, I'll um, add this to sum as 0 and then this, this, this and these three. And I'll keep going on to find more combinations. So first let me write down the logic that it will be more clear. Okay, so we have two for loops now. What we have to do is we just have to get these particular indexes from our list. So first what we have to do is we need to get the row right so here in the output you can see that this is my nested list and inside I have the row and row is my ith index so the value in the variable i is going to be the index of my row right and when you see this this is my first row and these are like these vertical things are going to be my column so what I'm going to do is so this is what we have to do so let's try to print this
so i'm going very slow on this problem it has been listed as easy but it i think it 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 won't be as easy um, as we all might think so here if you see what we got is we got triple one we got triple zero right so we are getting the indexes as we want so what we did is we just got the items one by one so and then we print it out here but we don't have to do that but what we will do is we are going to use these indexes to find our our glass combination so here i'm going to uh, comment this line so that you can have this reference also and what we are going to do is we are going to create an if condition right this is going to be the check so that we will start from the third row and this is for second this third row right so we are going to start from here so that we can go up 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 and so from the fourth row up 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 right so that is what we are going to do so now i am going to hold a variable which is going to hold my maximum sum right so here i'll create that let's say max sum equals to integer dot min so this is very important part so here we have hold the minimum value right now i'm going to compare each sum using this value so here i'm going to do a condition if i is greater than 1 and and i is greater than 2 oh sorry j is greater than 1 now you might be thinking like if we have to do i greater than 1 and j greater than than 1 why are we even going from zeroth index you are right we don't have to but just to uh, show you the entire process i have written the loop from zeroth index but you can change this number you can change it uh, from i equals to 2 and j equals to 2 but when you do j equals to 2 then it is going to a problem and you will get that uh, issue solved by yourself so just let's let's just continue with the code so here we have i greater than 1 j greater than 1 now, now we just have to get those combination so first let me write 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 it write so let's first write those combination down and then i will explain why we have done that okay so i have written these seven times why because in a particular hourglass we get seven values three three six and seven right now like i said i have to go up so i am starting from this index so this is my i comma j now i'll do i j minus one j minus two right let's first do that okay so one row is clear now we have to find this middle element which is going to be so i am here so this is i minus 1 and this is i minus 1 j minus 1 so that's it so let's do our middle element i minus 1 and j minus 1 now we have to go to the top row so this is going to be i minus 2 j i minus 2 j minus 1 and i minus 2 j minus 2 right so let's do that okay uh, i think i missed okay so i minus 2 j i minus 2 j minus 1 i minus 2 j minus 2 right now we have got the sum what we have to do is we just have to check if this sum is exceeding our maximum sum or not so we will just do if sum is greater than max sum then we just have to do max sum equals to sum that's it when we are done with this we just have to print system okay so that's it let's try to run this okay so it's working fine let's try to submit this okay so it worked fine so let me go through uh, with the code one more time 
so what we did we we looped each and every index i comma j and what we did is we first ignored these first ro rows these first rows we ignored we started from this row right so here we have i equals to 2 now we know that this from this index we are going to get the hourglass because it contains these three element and a middle element that's how we have a uh, hourglass so now what we are going to do is what we did actually we started from this index as i comma j right so this is the condition where i is greater than 1 and j is greater than 1 that's why this index so now we started from this index we add it to the sum and then we did this and then we did this this and these three so that comprises one hourglass and that's how we did the entire six by six array to find out the maximum right and that's it that's it what we have to do for the entire code and that's it for this video so i will meet you in the next video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye